Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so we're going to look at an introduction to the controls and functionality within the Zoom window um, operating as a host. Just looking at um, where the menus are, where buttons are, um, how to quickly access and change different settings, just to kind of get an overall view of the controls within Zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and start this meeting from the start button. Um, and just so you know, this window opens up anytime you open Zoom, but you haven't necessarily started a meeting. It's kind of like an introductory window. Um, so now that we have this window open. So now that I've got my window open, um, if you have a waiting room turned on, then <clears throat> you want to go ahead and admit um, other users from that admit button. So now there's uh, me as a host and two other users in the Zoom session. So um, let's just work our way around the controls just to see, just so that we know where everything is. So we start up at the top left, um, this information button. If we open this, this is giving us quick access to a link to the session. If you're missing participants and you want to quickly share the link um, to those people, you can copy and paste from here. Um, if you require a passcode, um, you can access that here as well. I'm just using my meeting ID um, because it's not a scheduled meeting um, or not a recurring meeting. So your Zoom account defaults to um, the meeting ID. So that's the information uh, menu up there. If we go down to the bottom, um, <clears throat> if we look at mute, uh, the microphone and video settings, anytime you see kind of an up arrow, that means that this is a menu that you can expand from this button. So from here, I can change, I can switch between different devices. If I have a pair of headphones plugged in, I can switch between the microphone from the computer or from the headphones. And the same thing goes for the audio that's coming out of your device. Um, if you want to hear the audio from your computer, you can do that from here as well. Um, and then if you're having issues, you can scroll down to the test speaker and microphone. little test and that just kind of makes sure that everything's working correctly. Also, if you open audio settings, you can just move this over here. You can get a little bit of extra um, settings to update or change. For example, if you want to, if you have a lot of background noise and you want to turn that off and a few extra settings here. But if you're not having any issues, um, then you know, you shouldn't need to update any of that. Same thing for video. Um, if you have a webcam connected to your computer or um, another device, that'll show up here as well. Uh, you can also add a virtual background. A note on virtual backgrounds. Um, if you uh, have an older device or a webcam that's um, not as powerful, then you might not be able to load the virtual background or you might get a virtual background that comes out a little shaky or not consistent. So you want to test it out, see if it works. If it does, great, but if it doesn't, um, then it might just be an issue with the device. Next is uh, security. So a couple things to consider when hosting. Um, if I want to lock this meeting with uh, these three participants, that means that even if somebody has a link uh, to your session, your current session, they would not be able to join if it's locked. Um, and if at any point you want to unlock it, I would just uncheck this box and you'll get that notification just to confirm. Um, next, the waiting room. Um, if you keep that enabled, you're going to have to admit participants as they come in. Um, if you have multiple that are waiting, they'll show up in the participants side of the window and if you have a lot you'll also have the opportunity to admit all so it's a useful feature um 
giving certain controls to participants, you can allow them to share their screen um, as well as chat. Participants can rename themselves or unmute themselves if you've muted participants upon entry. Um, so we're going to turn this back off so that as a host, I'm the only person that can share a screen. If we go to participants, clicking on the participants button will open and close this window. So if I want to hide that or if I want to temporarily remove it off the screen, I can do that. I'm going to put that back up and then same thing, um, this up button, not really a menu, but if you want to invite other participants, you can invite them um, from your contacts list if you've connected this to say a Google account or if I want to just plug in their email. Typically, uh, quickly sharing a link, I think it's faster going through the information button at the top left. Um, so next we have chat. So same thing, if I click on this, I can either show it or hide it. And if you show it, the default is that participants in chat are showing up one on top of another. So let's see what you can change and customize within chat. So um, we have this kind of feed here. Um, from here as a host, but also as a participant, I can um, either send a message to everyone. So everyone in the, in the session will get this message. Um, or if I want to chat to somebody in private, um, I can just toggle that button. So this will only go to user three and you'll know that by the um, text in red that says privately. Next, um, this little menu, mini menu here, um, if you want to save the chat at the end of the session, you can do that. So this is already saved these two um, messages. And here you can quickly change who participants can chat with. So you can turn it off completely. So participants can't chat with each other or can't send a public message. Um, and with host only, that means that participants can only send you a message. Um, and then the last one is everyone publicly, meaning everyone can share uh, messages in the chat. So if we turn off chat, we're going to look at participants. So we just expanded this. Um, here, there's a few different things that you can control. Um, number one, um, if I click on a specific user, I can um, designate a few things. I can ask them to start their video. I can um, make them a host or co-host. I can rename them, put them back in the waiting room, um, and remove and report. So with a specific user, um, that menu, if you hover over the right-hand side, um, you'll access that here. To the bottom, um, there's a few nonverbal responses that you can use if you have a larger session and you want to get a quick take on um, asking a question or checking for understanding. If you want to get a quick yes or no, um, you can leverage these buttons um, or you can instruct your participants to use them. And then there's a few extra buttons um, that you can use as well. So uh, participants can suggest going slower or faster if you're making a presentation. And then in the more button, if you hover over that, you're getting a few extra buttons like thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, clap, um, participant needs a break, or the participants away. So if you're kind of running a, a more formal meeting where you're kind of pushing participants to use these nonverbal um, buttons, then that's where those show up for all participants. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, again, from here, I can also invite participants from this button. I can decide to mute everybody. Um, so now everybody's muted by default. Um, and in this more section, I can, again, change the um, specific settings for participants. So I can ask everybody to unmute. 
mute them on entry, um, allow participants to unmute themselves, etc. So these are settings specific to your participants. Um, and then regarding polling, recording, um, breakout rooms, and sharing screens, uh, there's individual videos for those. So if you want to dive into any one of those um, functions, uh, those go a little bit more in depth in terms of from beginning to end, what that looks like to um, create a breakout room or create a poll and share results, things like that, that are uh, require a few more steps. So that's just a quick overview of the main controls within Zoom as a host um, and hope you find that helpful and uh, makes it a little bit more comfortable running Zoom sessions. Thanks.